This video explains the concept of light refraction for Science 8. Refraction of light refers to the change in direction of a wave as it passes through media of different densities. Since visible light is a form of electromagnetic radiation, it is subject to this phenomenon, and we can see evidence of it with our eyes since it falls in the visible part of the spectrum. For example, it is refraction that's responsible for us seeing a pencil look broken as it sits in a cup of water. This activity will help show how light bends as it passes through an acrylic block, a material with a higher density than air. To follow along with this activity, you'll need your refraction activity template linked in your Google Slides, a pencil, and a protractor. You will likely not have an acrylic block at your disposal, so do your best to follow along and enter any data into your notebook. On your template, the horizontal line is the normal. We'll use the vertical line to line up the acrylic block and we'll trace around the block as this becomes important for making sure we get accurate angles later on. Next, we will use a ray box to shine a beam of light along one of the incident rays through the acrylic block. Use a pencil to roughly identify that path that the light takes as it leaves the block. We will define these more clearly with a straight edge later. Repeat this process with the other incident rays. Be sure to label which incident ray belongs to each refracting ray. Here, I've labeled them with A, B, and C. Once you've used a straight edge to define each refracting ray, it is time to connect these to the incident rays at the interface. It is important to use a straight edge to get an accurate visual of the path the ray took through the block. After each ray has been drawn, measure the angles. The angle of refraction is measured between the normal and the refracted ray's path through the block. The angle of incidence is once again measured between the normal and the incident ray. Repeat this process for each of the sets of rays and record the data in your table in your notebook. Based on the data collected, what you should notice is that as light moves into a material that is more dense, it bends towards the normal as it slows down. This makes the angle of refraction smaller than the angle of incidence. Conversely, as light moves into a material that is less dense, it bends away from the normal as it speeds up. Let's look at that pencil and water a little bit more closely now that we know what's happening. Here's a ray diagram of the same situation. First, we want to draw a normal line, so we'll be able to see where the light will be bending toward or away from. As light shines on the pencil, it goes through the water and reflects back to the eye, as these rays show. As those light rays move from the water into the air, they will speed up and bend away from the normal. But the brain interprets the location of objects based on the angle that the rays enter the eye. So it will extrapolate backwards, and our brain thinks the light is coming from here. This is why the pencil looks broken. The brain is interpreting light rays coming at us from different angles. <laughs> 